You never know what you're going to do until you've played the guy, right? So that you can evaluate from there. We're going to run the same play. I don't think he's going to send the outside guy this time. So we should be able to pick it up. Wow, we are getting hummed at. We, oh my gosh. Yo, we did, okay, 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 okay. Here's what we just learned. Here's what we just learned. Number one. My offensive and defensive ebooks are now available over on hotrock.tips. If you guys are looking to win more games than Madden 20, that's the place to be. And don't forget, use code CHAOS for 10% off at checkout. What's good, everybody? Welcome to another Chaos Coaching video. We got my whistle, we got my hat, and we're ready to roll, man. We're gonna jump right into it today. These videos are about helping you guys get better at Madden. We're gonna start with the lineup, and we're jumping right into the game. So looking over the team, not too many changes, guys. We still have Patrick Mahomes at QB, 99 speed Bo Jackson, activated Eric Dickerson with Freight Train, activated Moss with Moss. Very good team, decent O-line. Uh, Brandon Cooks is still really, really good receiving. I still need to level up and power him up, but the only real change that we made to our defense was picking up the power up for Sean Taylor. This guy is a goon. We have him activated. We have him with zone out, secure tackler, and enforcer. Now, some of you guys are probably using universal coverage with enforcer. That's your guys' choice. I'm not going to man him up a lot, so I figure zone out will do, and that way I can have secure tackler too. Some of you guys also might want lurker. I don't really like lurker this year. I feel like I haven't felt a difference when they're playing safety. We have him activated. We have Calvin Johnson doing really, really good too. Our DBs are really fire. We have Ed Reed, Pat Tillman, and then we have all the legends, Rob Woodson, Mel Blunt, Night Train Lane, Deion Sanders. So we're looking really good on defense. Next couple upgrades that I really am going to want to do, probably get that new Khalil Mack, replace Clowney with him. And uh, maybe that, that's pretty much it. Honestly, I mean, Reggie White's a really good DT. Maybe just keep getting Shazier along. That's probably really the only changes we'll make. Again, guys, on the, uh, for the team strategy portion, Dolphins offense, Dolphins defense. If you guys don't know already, we just dropped a Dolphins defensive ebook on our site. Really, really, really good. It's compatible with our Jets defense. So everything in both those books can completely go into one scheme. And then on offense, I literally just finished updating my Miami split close. Also compatible with New England offense. Really good offense. I feel really good about the updates. I felt like we added a good 10 plays that you guys can really use. Really confident in both those schemes. I hope you guys will go check them out over on hotrod.tips. Link in the description below. That's it for the team, man. Let's get into the game. As we load into this game, guys, if you guys enjoy these chaos coaching videos, if you think they're helpful, even though they're less edited, it's a lot more me talking. It's a lot more of helping you guys out. If you guys enjoy them, please drop a like for me. It really helps me out. And I'd love for you guys to comment. But how'd you guys enjoy your break? Did you guys do anything fun? Let me know. I enjoy talking to you guys. I enjoy interacting with you guys. So please let me know what you guys have been doing. I always respond back that you guys know what I've been doing. But hope you guys are enjoying these. They are a little bit less edited. It's a lot more of me talking, but. They're fun, man. Let's see what he's got. So he's got Bo Jackson, so he's going to want to run the ball. Willie Lanier. I can't really tell too much from his top three. He's going to be running the ball with that bow, but that doesn't really tell me too much. I usually like to look at those, see if I can tell anything. I played a guy earlier. He had two. He had Bo and uh, Eric Dickerson in his top three. You know that guy's running the ball, right? So you can usually tell. I, I like to look at those. Also, guys, you guys see I'm receiving here. My settings are set to kick. Set to kick. If you guys are going into your settings, make sure you're set to kick off first. Make sure you're put to, um, as your second option, put against the wind. That way, if you don't win, so like right now, I didn't win. In the fourth quarter, if I need wind for my field goal, I'll have it. So also starting the game, this is always the time. I like to tell you guys, set your audibles. If you're not setting your audibles, you guys are way behind the curve. You're, you're missing out. You really are. If you go if you go out of the play and you see, okay, he gave me a look that I like. He's in cover three. Oh, I didn't call that play. You need to be able to audible to it. You need that time. Now, this first play, I'm going to run the ball. Uh, subbing my audibles that stuff usually takes time and with that actually yeah i forgot to even put in <laughs> i forgot to take out evan ingram it usually takes time so i like to run the ball i never want to get a bad play out there if you get a bad play the first play you put yourself in the second 15 second and 20 that's not a spot you want to be in so i only gained two yards right there that's cool i only gained uh two yards but now it's a second and eight that's a lot better than the second and 15 where you might be i forget to oh my gosh i forgot to do my subs again Oh my goodness. I'm actually going to call time out here. You want to make sure you get your right plays out there. You don't want to put yourself in a spot where if I if I mess up, I might be in a spot where I can't pick up a first down and you can stop your first possession just plainly because you were being stubborn and wanted to try to pass the ball when you didn't get your best play out there. If this is 11, 12 seconds. Just, just run the ball. Go to the next play. Make sure you get the right play on second down. But let's see, let's see what he's going to do here. I like to evaluate the first possession. I always tell you guys, First possession is always, oh my goodness, the evaluation is he sent a ton of pressure. Okay, and he got home too. He got home, so he sent that backside guy. He sent eight against me right there, I'm pretty sure. That's something I'm going to note. I'll save that for later. These are always field-out drives. But now what they're going to do, you learn from it, and you keep it moving. Out of, outside of that, you never know what you're going to do until you've played the guy, right? So that you can evaluate from there. 
We're gonna run the same play. I don't think he's gonna send the outside guy this time, so we should be able to pick it up. Wow, we are getting hummed at. We. Oh my gosh! Yo, we just... okay, 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 okay. Here's what we just learned. Here's what we just learned. Number one, he's gonna send the dogs, and we're not being able to pick it up right now. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna evaluate. We're gonna run the ball against this thing, number one. Number two, the backwards thing is that he's gonna send pressure so I can send five routes out and get the ball out quick, make quick reads. But if I'm not gonna be able to block it, we know that now we learned and we were lucky enough to get a seven. I'll be honest. That was the luckiest play I've ever gotten in Madden. We'll take it though. So he's coming out on the single back wing flex close. You can pass out of this, 100% can pass out of it. You can also run out of it. I'm gonna play the run first. I'm gonna make him show me that he can pass out of it before I change out my defense at all. Once he shows he can pass, then we'll start mixing in the pass defense and we'll play that chess match. But until he does so, I'm playing run defense. I always tell you guys, this is Madden 20. People want to run the ball. So I'm playing run defense first and we'll ask questions later if he starts to pass the ball effectively on me. But there are some good passes out of this. One thing you can note, I don't, he doesn't have any X factors in receiver, so he can't put any like smart routed posts. But you, you have to mark that wheel. Oh, I thought I could lurk that. That's me. That's me. That's on me. That's on me. You have to note that they have a wheel like out of the verticals. They have a corner route. They like to run smash out of that. Then they have uh they can sometimes do a baby corner route on their um on their uh tight end so that's something those are the things that i like to look out for if they can do a hot route specialist post that's something you can note as well he does not have a hot route master though so i don't think i have to worry about that Let's see if he's gonna run stretch here he ran stretch left nice play i'm on it though oh good play let's go good tackle we gotta hold a three here we cannot give up seven he's back in the single back wing flex close he can run that wheel down here i'm not really worried about the wheel if he runs that down here Shouldn't have to worry about that too much. Everything's boxed. No way, no way, no way, no way, no way. I got lucky on my drive. I am not going to get mad because I got super lucky. But that was not open. To try to get a spy out here this time. Make sure he can't roll out with Mahomes. But we're ready to play run pass, run and pass defense here. We should be okay. Ran the wheel. I don't think I don't think you can throw it that close. I don't think you can throw it that close. All right, now we're starting a little bit dicey. Couple picks possibly there. Couple picks. He's in a kick. That's smart because he plays a really good defense his first possession. So it's first and 10. He's in a weak set. I'm going to run the ball. I'd like to get to a second and short here so I can pass and see if I can pick up his blitz with some IDing. Kinda, oh my gosh. This thing is blowing up the run too. Okay. 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 Well, now we're not, we're not in the situation I wanted to be. I would like to see if I can pick this up. I was not able to do so in the last possession, but I don't want to really risk it on a second and 12 because if I don't pick it up, I'm just going to be in a in pretty much an impossible third down. So I'm just going to throw whichever running back route that he doesn't use her here. There we go. Get out the way, Bo. Oh, I'd like to get to a second and short so that I can try and just pick this up. Before I can know I can pick it up, I can't waste it down. That's something that you guys need to remember. Don't waste it down and basically surrender a sack to an opponent when there's no reason to do so, right? So I actually need to change Bo from Dickerson and put Dickerson at the starting running back position. We'll do that in a second. Oh, oh. Ooh, that's close. All right, we're gonna pause the game here. We're gonna do our, we're gonna go to our depth chart and we're gonna put Eric Dickerson at number one. Until he loses his X Factor, I want him at number one. But once he does, then I'll move Bo back. That's kind of the thing that you have to do right now because Bo's the better running back when he's not when he's not activated. But Eric Dickerson's better when he is. So we have our second and three. This is exactly what I wanted. Now we're gonna try to pick up his blitz. Now if he sacks me, he sacks me. We're on a third and ten, still doable, right? But if I do pick it up, then we figured it out. So we're gonna try. This is the guy that was coming in. So we're I, we'll ID him. We'll see what happens. He should be able to pick it up. It's seven versus seven. He's not hovering or anything. So still nothing. Gosh, dang. I'm getting rocked every time I fumbled on every sack so far. That's not ideal. We're going to do the same play we did before with the running back streaks. If he, uh, just whichever way he doesn't lurk, we're going to throw the other one. So if he keeps giving me this, if he keeps sending seven, we're going to take these. We will take these. He can see, he can keep doing that all he wants. Seven seven is great when you're getting home, right? When you're, when I'm max protecting, you're still getting home. Seven seven is great. But it's not great when I'm sending five routes out and getting touchdowns. Don't quit on me. Don't, why would he quit? I don't understand that, dude. I don't understand that at all. That was a good player. Literally a good player. Played a great defensive drive the first possession. I got the luckiest seven you could probably ever get ever in this game. Super lucky. And then I got seven right there, but he had a nice drive to get three. I don't understand it one bit, but it is what it is, man. We'll take it. Crazy win, I guess. The, really lucky first possession. We'll get into a second game real quick. We'll, we'll skip the pregame antics. Get right into the mix of things. All right, what are we looking at? This is him, I believe. I don't think I have... Yeah, I don't have Calvin Johnson activated. So he's got Bo. He's got Calvin. He's got Sean T. That Sean T is good. Our team is looking nice, though. So we're playing defense first. He's coming out in a clear running formation. But he has Moss. So I'm ready that. You guys always have to remember if they have Moss. And I'm going to just lurk it myself. If you have zone out, usually you can stop it. Go ahead and throw it. I'm probably going to pick him off here, to be honest with you. 
Oh, at least we knocked it out. If you have a zone out player, usually it won't do anything. Uh, you won't be able to moss them like that. So something you have to look out for early game right now is the first play, always looking out for moss. Something you always have to look out for. It's they're they're gonna throw it. You already know that. I packed the guy off. Okay, thank you. Oh my gosh. Woodson got burnt. That's what I was looking at right there. But um, but yeah, so you have to look out for that. Also, something you look out for. I played a guy earlier. He brought it out in the third quarter. It was really smart. He was a runner. He ran the ball every play. So I wasn't even looking for it. And then the third quarter, he finally brings Moss on the field because he doesn't activate until he's on the field. And man, oh man, was that a good play by him because he burnt me deep. And oh, he didn't burn me. He agged me like 60 yards and it was a huge play in the game. So just something you guys need to look out for. Always be ready for Moss to come on the field. But once you get off, the, once you get past that first play, you're good. So, oh, we're humming. We're humming. We're humming. Come on, boy. He's not going to have success in this empty. He needs to get out of this empty. Otherwise, he's going to get hummed at the whole time. Come on, man. Come on, baby. Keep humming. Nope. Pick that. Oh, my gosh. Calvin. What are you doing? We are sending dogs at him right here. We are sending dogs. We didn't get anybody home. Now we did. Now we did. No way. No way. What? He just made the greatest throw ever. He can really make a 60 yarder. No way. I don't believe it. I don't believe he can make a 60 yarder. I was about to say, uh oh, I think I just seen him audible. I might catch him lacking right here. We might pick up a touchdown. We'll see. We'll see. I, I don't have time to set up my, uh, I told you guys you don't have time to set up your play. Oh no. Uh, I'm probably not going to get him. I'm throwing it. We got him. We got him. We got him. We got him, baby. Come on. Let's go. We're going to get a quit right away. Come on. I can never get a full game, man. Come on. All right. Right into the next one. All right, baby. We're actually in my Super Bowl right now. He's got the Michael Vick. This is my first time playing him. He's going to look really, really fast out there. But we're going to do a good job of containing him. We're going to spy our fast guys. We're going to do all right. All right. He's coming out in the gun bunch. Come on, baby. This is where we lock up at. This is where we lock up at. Come on. Can run some sweep. Oh, my gosh. I was about to say that sweep ain't going to work. Dude was blowing him up, but he just runs right past him. A sweep shouldn't hurt us. It shouldn't hurt us at all. I'm not worried about sweep at all, really. But we just got to make sure we don't give up any long bombs. Playing bunch early on, you just got to remember the good plays. They have wide receiver post. They have, um, oh, no, 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 no. They have wide receiver post. They have deep corner. They have mesh post. Uh, I'm just assuming he's in uh, in the West Coast bunch, but because that's really the only good one. But just noting those good plays and what they can do out of them, knowing where the deep posts are coming from, knowing where the corner routes are coming from, that's important to being able to stop it. Uh, just knowing the game, that's reps. That's no being familiar with the popular playbooks, being familiar with what people would like to do. Knowing those things is important, and I'll be ready for them, and... Whatever plays he likes the most, I'll pick up on that and we'll go from there. We got a spy for Vic here. Oh, we were on that. We were on that. You got to block somebody, baby. All right, we're mixing up our coverage here. We're changing it up. We have our spy for Vic. We had the middle of the field taken away. Only thing I really have to worry about is that right side. I have to lurk the right side myself. I took the zone off. So just knowing your user responsibility is always important. And I know the right side is mine. If he doesn't put anything out there, that's when I can lurk back to something else. But for now, the right side's mine. We're on that. Heck no. Let's freaking go, man. So it's first play. You guys know I'm running the ball. I'm going to do my flip here. See if he flips with me. He doesn't. I preach this every game. Oh, he flipped. This is a good player. This guy knows what he's doing. He flipped with me. He's going to do a better job of stopping the run. He blew it up right there. That's okay. I like to run the ball. Make sure I get on a hash. Make sure I get the right play out there. But he showed he's going to flip with me. That's the first player I've played in a while who actually flips with me every single time I flip. It's a good play by him. Can't knock him for it. We're going to look for either running back right here. I like to, you guys know. If you guys watch me play, you guys know I throw my running backs a lot in the red zone. Oh, he didn't even have a flat out there. That was a weird play. We'll take our few yards. He's in a 3-4 defense. I'm just going to audible down to dive. Dive usually will give me a couple yards with this. Plus, I have Dickerson activated. When he's activated, it's really tough to stop him, man. So I'm just going to run the ball with him early. Try to pick up this first down. And see, I didn't quite get it. But he's always he's always going to break that first tackle. So it makes it so tough for him to lose. So now I'm just going to go to a fullback dive. I might, since I got to stop, I might probably recommend to you guys to kick this. Since chaos coaching, I usually have to give good advice. But I personally am going to go for this. It's, this is a debatable one, though. I wouldn't be mad at you if you went for this one, even though we got to stop early. I feel like you can get it, especially with Dickerson. I'm just going to run this fullback dive, and you see he breaks that first tackle. Now, if he wasn't activated, I'm not even calling that play. I, I still might go for it, but I might actually pass right there. But since he's activated, I know he's going to break that first tackle. I don't really have to be worried about getting stopped because he's going to break that first tackle. And as long as they're not a second or a third guy there, he'll be fine. So we'll go for both running backs here again. See, will he, see where he lurks at. Got our running back. Break a tackle. That's Bobo. That's Bobo. Good job, boy. I'm gonna flip here, see if he flips with me. If he doesn't, I'm gonna run this power O. If he does flip, we'll figure it out. He didn't flip. He did it. Oh my oh. I called the wrong play. 
I called the wrong play. Gosh dang it. That's a touchdown probably. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna try it again here. That sucks, dude. I hope he doesn't flip again because that would have been that probably would have been a touchdown. All right, good. He didn't. We're gonna run the ball. Punch this thing in. Punch. You guys saw that. That was actually kind of sticky for me. It didn't work out for me. I didn't get in. But that was actually one of my more sticky plays. I, I waited in the backfield, waited for that guy to get picked up on his block and made myself more space. That was actually some of the better runs that I've ever had, to be honest. I'm proud of myself. I don't I don't run the ball well very often. So when I do, I got to tell you guys and let you guys know what I did. But we're going to auto down to this dive. Trust Dickerson here. See if we can punch this thing in. Come on. Come on. Break that tackle. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Great drive. First possession, he didn't show me too, too much. Us. Ooh, he audible down. We're ready for it. We're ready for it. We should be we should blow this up here. Oh, I messed up. That's okay. That's okay. I'm not I'm not worried about that. If he wants to audible down to that, I'll be okay with that. He didn't show me too too much this first possession. He only got uh one set of downs, but that's okay. We're just gonna keep evaluating him here. It's early on. I like when he audibles down here. I like this a lot. Back this guy off. Ooh, I like when he does that. Like I was saying though, when he audibles down, I'm not too worried about it. I'm not too worried about the run whatsoever. I back this guy off, act like he's in a deep blue, but really he's actually in a soft squat. Just playing mind games, kind of trying to make them think that you're running a certain coverage, but you're not. So right here, I'm on that. Just making them think that, see, he did a cover three beater right there. I backed the guy off, making it look like a cover three beater. I was actually in cover two. Just giving kind of different looks from your opponent and confusing them is good. So I'm actually going to be in cover three right here and we can make that work as well. So just mixing up my coverages. Now it actually looks like a cover two because I'm not going to back the guy off, but we're going to cover three. So just continuing to give the guy look that he's not comfortable going against. And continue trying to learn what he likes to go to. So I still haven't really picked up on what he likes. He's been mixing up his play as well. He blocked right there. He's going to try to get outside the pocket. I'm on the in route. I'm on the in route. I'm on the in route. Oh, nice play. Nice play. He did the um, he did the tight end check and release. That's okay, though. We guys, we had guys in position to make a tackle there. He only gained a couple. Big, big play coming up on fourth down. All right, we're backing this guy off, making it look like the cover, making it look like cover three again. But we actually are in cover three. So we're just doing a good job of changing up our defenses. Oh, nice out route. That time he did it. Good play, good play, good play. I wish I stayed in my cover two the way I had been. Good play by him. I actually haven't sent a ton of pressure yet, so I'm actually going to send pressure right here. I'm actually going to show the full out look. Ooh, he ran the ball. That's okay. Oh, I need the secure tackler animation right there. Come on, baby. I need secure tackler animation. You guys know they get those suction tackles a little bit better than the other guys. Dang, man, good play. All right, I didn't get to send pressure that time. I saw, ooh, good play, good play, good play, good play. Ah, uh, he's got streak specialist on that guy, so he's not going to drop that ever. He's starting to get a rhythm now. He's starting to get a rhythm, giving me a little bit of trouble. So, ooh, he's going to audible. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, to blow this up. This gets blown up in the backfield. Blow up in the backfield. Come on, boy. Oh, man. I mm, I was trying to get on that. No, I was trying to get on that other safety, dude. Ah, this guy's definitely starting to get in a rhythm against me. Not a bad thing. We got to make sure we keep we keep mixing up our defenses. Don't let him continue to figure us out. Give him different looks, different rushes, sending four, sending seven. And continue to just mix up what I do. If I give him a rhythm and keep doing the same thing, he looks like he's going to pick me apart. He looks like he knows what he's doing. He's been running a good gun bunch. So we're ready for what he wants to do here. Looks like wide receiver post. Ready for wide receiver post. Nothing's open. Nothing's open, man. Come on. He doesn't have his... Oh, oh, he doesn't have... I was going to say he doesn't have his streak specialist on the side. He quick hiked it. But he didn't have that streak specialist on that side. So I was able to pull my guy down and not have to worry about the streak. Now, if he had a streak specialist on that side, I did have to worry about that. So there's just something I'm noting. Streak specialist will never drop. Uh, the streak when they when they're in a cover two no matter it, what kind of animation you get it makes it really hard so just something you guys can note right there that i was since he didn't do that i was able to not have to worry about the streak it's just one less thing that i have to guard myself so just different things you can pick up on while playing while i play against gun bunch if you guys have to worry about it you guys can learn it too freak no swat that out of here let's get back on oh so it's looking like he's gonna send some pressure right here we're ready for it hopefully we can pick it up roll out roll out playmaker up he's gonna break off yes sir i taught you could see it. You could see it in their eyes. You could see it in their eyes. I knew he was going to break off. I knew I was going to have that. Just kind of an intuition thing. I knew he was guarding that, but he had to guard me too. So as soon as you cut up the field, they're going to break off. You playmaker up, get a big game. We're going to try to catch him lacking right here. I don't think he's blitzing. We're going to try to catch him lacking. We'll see how it goes. Oh, he blitzed. That's going to be bad. That's going to be bad. Got him. Oh, Mahomes is the best. Mahomes is the best. Mahomes is the best. I can't believe he made that throw. Let's go, man. All right, end of half situation here. I don't want to give up any bombs. I don't want to give up any long runs. I'm just going to play safe and make sure I don't give up anything deep. If we don't give up anything deep, we really can't lose. We can lose, but we're going to be in a great spot. We're going to be at 14-3 minimum as long as we don't give up any big plays. And it's going to be our ball at half. So we'll be in a great spot. Making sure I'm not giving up anything crazy here. I'm not doing anything dumb. We should be okay. All right, man. We have deep halves out there. Nothing doing. Nothing doing. That's fine. Just play contain. That's okay. I'll give up a few yards. All right, I don't want to give up any big runs. This this thing can actually break some big runs if I mess around. This fullback dive, you see. Like if I if I over pursue that and give up a big run, 
that'd be really, really bad. So I got to make sure that I just play contain, make sure I make my tackle after a few yards. I don't mind giving up a first down right there. This is end of half. I'm not worried about first downs. What I'm worried about is giving up a touchdown right here. I'm not even really mad at a field goal. As long as I don't give up a touchdown right here, I really can't lose. Oh, I got stuck again. Thank you. Good. Great play by Clowney there. I got stuck. When you're under two minutes and the clock's running, you can just hike the ball without waiting the five seconds, which is really, really frustrating when you're trying to get set up on defense. Actually, it's, I actually feel like it's personally unfair uh, to be able to just come out of the huddle and hike the ball, considering you just warped to the <laughs> you just warped to the line of scrimmage this year. You don't actually come out of the huddle. So it is what it is, but that's something you have to be worried about. If you know you have to do a couple of adjustments, you might have to run a different defense. And it's something I do forget about a lot, but it's something you do need to note. So I'm going to send just a four people rush here. Have a mid read out there to take out the middle of the field. Have a spy. I don't want to give up anything to Vic. Yeah, he's just trying to run the ball right now. Oh, what the heck was that? Bro, that was weird. My guy just fell over right there, but it is what it is. He's going to get field goal now. Uh, unfortunately, that just basically gave it to him. He probably wouldn't have got it if I made that tackle. But now I just got to make sure I don't give up any touchdowns. Have my spy. Have my mid read. We're sending four. Not worried about anything he's passing because I'm not giving it, I'm not giving up anything deep. I, I, have my, I have my deep blues out there. I have my deep pass to stop any bombs. We should be okay. All right, what's he doing? What's he doing? Nothing's there. Nothing's there. Pick that. Oh, big mistake. Big mistake to the... Oh, that's got to be to the crib. Big mistake by him there. Big mistake. He should have at least gotten his three. You don't want to just throw a possession away right there, guys. There's no reason to do it. Three points would have been big for him, to be honest with you. At least to get something going on the board. You don't want to be down 14-0 giving the ball up at halftime. But I'm just going to run this ball out. I'm happy with the way we played. 18 seconds is not a ton. I'll just run the ball if I can break one. I can break one. And we'll go to halftime. I don't need to try to score. I don't want to make any mistakes. We'll go to halftime. So essentially, this is the drive of the game, right? If I go down, if I get any type of points, if I take any type of clock, we're probably going to win the game, right? Now, if I go down and turn it over, uh, don't get any points, it puts him right back in the game. Because if he gets a touchdown, he's at one possession. So this is really like the deter determining the whole game right now, right? So we just got to make sure we make good reads. We don't throw anything crazy. We can pick up his blitz for sure. So I'm not really worried about that. We'll, just we'll run some Max Pro plays. And we just got to make good reads and don't throw any fixes, especially any pick sixes. So, oh, my hitch right here. He's lurking the corner out. Oh, we made a miss. Swerve him. Oh, I, I, I have no stick. Don't judge. Don't judge me. So we've been picking up his blitz. I'm actually going to try to bomb him again, just like we did before. Got him. Got him. Stop lacking, baby. Stop lacking. Come on, man. Let's go. I'm actually really happy with the way we've played. I felt like I've done a good job against everything he wants to do. And I, he, he actually knows what he's doing. I think he's actually a pretty solid player. And and we've done a good job locking him up. And we've actually done a good job moving the ball. So that's two ways that we've actually done a really good job. And I'm happy about it. So we just got to continue to play good defense. I'll give him that corner. Oh, ah, I should have stayed on with a second longer, but good play. I'm continuing to mix up my coverages. I've been cover three, cover two. I've been sending seven, sending four. Doing a good job of mixing everything up. And just keeping him guessing. If you keep if you keep your opponent guessing, it's going to be hard for him to play offense. Just make it tough on him. And you'll be and you'll be solid, but I'm definitely gonna send some pressure right here. I'm ready for this tight end. I'm ready for this tight end to release. I'm ready for it. Oh, I was ready for it. That was definitely a tight end release play. Let's go, man. Since he doesn't have the streak specialist on this side, I'm gonna send pressure. I'm gonna back this guy off. If he runs an out route, the soft squad should do a good job. If he runs man, he shouldn't get beat deep. So we're sending a ton of people, a ton of people. I hope we get pressure. What's he doing? We got home. We got home. We got home, baby. Come on. We are playing really good defense right now. I'm going to give that same exact look, but we're only sending four this time. Just mixing things up. This is what I'm talking about. I'm giving the same look. Sometimes I'm sending seven. Sometimes I'm sending four. Sometimes I have a spy. Sometimes I don't. I'm really just keeping him guessing. And that makes it really hard to play offense. So he just blocked eight people, right? And we only sent four. And we got we got a spy. There's nothing he can do. He thinks we're sending seven people. We send four at him. He he blocks eight. He blocks eight people. What is he supposed to pass? We have eight people in coverage, seven people in coverage. All right, this one we are sending pressure. This one we are sending pressure. We are getting after the QB. We are going to send the whole team and make sure we get somebody home. Scream, baby. Come on. Scream. Scream. He's got nothing. He's got nothing. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, my gosh. If he would have caught that off the tip, I would have been pissed. I'm really happy with the way we're playing the game right now. At this point, man, we can only lose if we make stupid mistakes. So we're just going to try to run the ball. And if he if he plays good run defense, we will pass. I'll just make sure not to throw anything stupid. Um, because the only way I can lose is really from a pick six. Not even a pick hurts me right now, to be honest. Only a pick six kills me. Flipping here, see if he'll flip with me. He does not. He seems to be stubborn after that first play when he flipped with me and did a really good job. He's been stubborn, so juke that. Oh, come on, Dickerson. I'll take the drag though. I'll take the drag for five yards. Just for fun. This is gonna be four down territory. Just for fun. Just because I don't think I'm gonna lose this game. So 
I would kick now if... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We don't even need four downs, baby. We don't even need four downs. The reason why I was saying that is because I would not run the ball on third down if I wasn't planning on going for it on fourth down. I'd try to pass, try to get the first down. And if I didn't get it, I'd probably kick in a real life situation. But please, I like to keep them fun. I like to go for it. I like to do a lot of things, but I like to give you guys the right advice telling you guys what I would do if it was a tournament situation game. So, all right, man, just continuing to play the right defense right now. Mixing it up. Sending four, sending seven, giving different looks, doing the things that I need to do, guys. I'm Right now, I'm hovering, but I'm only sending four people. And I have a spy out there. And it's just, you're just keeping him guessing. Like, how could he possibly know when I'm giving him the same exact look, right? So, definitely things that you guys need to be wary about. Ooh, nice play. Nice play, nice play. Nice swerve, too. Ooh, they cheated him. I wanted him to catch that. That was a nice swerve. That was a nice play. All right, this time, we're going to send pressure. He doesn't have his streak specialist over there. I don't have to worry about it. Ooh, nice play. Dang, we were getting mad pressure right there, too. Everybody was coming in. I saw it. We're on that. We're on that. Oh, he tried the streak thing. He can't do it without the streak specialist. He can't do it. You have to have the streak specialist on the side. I'm watching for it. I'm watching for it. He's sending Bo out. Doesn't bode well for him. He's probably going to get hollered at right here. We'll see, though. Right, he blocked his tight end. Good play. Yo, I need my hook curl. Calvin, I need more from you. I like sending pressure off this side. When he doesn't have his streak specialist on the right, and he can't just auto throw that streak, I like sending the pressure off this end. So I'm going to send seven here. See if we can get after the QB. See if we can make him make a bad read. I'm lurking right. We get home, baby. I'm just mixing it up, man. When he doesn't have that streak special on that side, he can't throw that side. So it makes it a lot easier on me to send pressure. On the other side, when he has the bunch on the left, he can't do that. So I'm going to send pressure again, actually, and see if we can get home again. Because if he keeps if he keeps um, not keeping his streak special over there, that's one less thing I have to worry about. Out an, as an offensive player, you always want to keep your keep your opponent guessing, um, running your mixing up your setups. Because if they're mixing up their defenses, you got to mix up your setups. He's not able to run the streak play when he has the streak specials on that outside. And of course, we get home again. We're really, really getting after him right now, boys. It's doing a really good job. Oh, he's going to quit, man. Come on. Don't quit. Don't quit out. Let me get a full game for once. Come on, dude. Ah, oh, he quit. All right. That was a long enough game. That should be a good video for you guys. We got another three piece in. I got to start getting one game videos for these, man. It's just been a struggle, but... Hope you guys enjoyed, man. If you did, don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys did over break. Let me guys know what you guys did over the holidays. Whatever you guys celebrate, I'd love to hear what you guys did. But take it easy, man. Peace.